You can't go zero to 60 in a hotel, but you can do it in a car. All right, guys, this is my last tip. The right and Angie is dropping me off, so shout out to Angie. And here's me going through regular flight processes. You know the drill. You take off, and then you land, and then you're there. And that's that. I skipped like 50 steps, but you know. Our luck. Holy crap. That car is smoking. So here's the Mustang I rented, but I gotta go to the back and like figure things out. But I mean, it's also my hotel, little do they know. So yeah. All right guys, so I finally checked in my hotel. Check it out, we got some back seats. We got a lot of room, it's not bad. I know it's an auto. I got a, um, I'm getting a manual uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm coming back to this place and switching it to a manual Kona Blue Mustang. Still EcoBoost, but still. So it's looking nice. We're gonna have a good trip. Let me just adjust my seat real quick and uh, let's hear this. Yeah, pretty quiet, but still. <laughs> so we can be safe. Hopefully you can hear me through this AC. But let's get into it. And I'm like crammed in. I'm sandwiched between a Chali and a Camaro both v6s but hopefully i can get through them but what am i saying this is a four cylinder eco boost but we're chilling wow 2018 mustang got that that's awesome holy crap my one hour and 11 minutes but i guess that's california for you it's only 41 miles so it should take you like what 40 50 minutes in michigan but still uh, i guess i'm on my way i better hurry up i better use all these turbos I mean, all this one turbo that's in here. Check out my nails, just got my nails done. Yeah, I think I got my energy back, but I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. And also shout out to Angela Bako for dropping me off to the airport. And oh my gosh, it was so bad getting here because LAX has this new, if you guys ever come to LA, just letting you guys know, like have your plan settled like before you like land, like figure it out because you have to take a bus to like the Uber and Lyft destination and then you get Ubered from there to wherever you gotta go, like your car rentals and stuff. So make sure you have that all set in stone. But yeah, I'm so excited and I have back seats and I don't have back seats on my 350 so this feels good. <laughs> Guys, I was going well above the speed limit and people are still managing to pass me and swerve so close. I don't know, I gotta get used Continue to straight nice diffusers you got going on there i like it i like it if it's not one highway it's the other that's jam-packed like you just get out of one and come into another it's like crazy all right i'm setting my oh that's the charger charger's angry but um i did bring my phone now from my 350 to this because i'm gonna be filming a lot but so far i like it like i don't know what's up it's a 2018 car and it has like the phone number dials on a Mustang. I don't, I think that's totally unnecessary. Gauges I like, you know, I really like the setup of like the whole um, center console and stuff. I like the start and stop button. I like how the shifter looks, um, but I am getting a manual tomorrow. And this is where I continue to talk about how I'm gonna get a manual tomorrow and I wanna test out the traffic, but when I got there, they asked for my mom and my mom wasn't with me and they didn't let me drive it because I'm under 21. So I was with this auto for the rest of the trip. You guys, so I made it around Nadia's area, and I think I already mentioned this before. This turbo lag is absolutely crazy. Um, not in a very good way. Nothing will start boosting until like 4,000 RPMs or 4.5. So you got you got to push it a little bit. I haven't tested it out in sport mode yet, but I'll let you guys know. Check this view out. It's kind of scary though. I don't know. <laughs> So oh, I just made it to uh, Nadia's crib. Of course, you gotta open the door for me though. <laughs> I'm stuck. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go grab some food. I just made it to Chino Hills and yeah, I am starving. All right, guys, so it's currently, I don't even know what time it is. It's like nine or something. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be sleeping in this neighborhood. Um, I got my Starbucks and um, got my luggage. I packed it back in and I'm about to just I guess call it a freaking night. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna roll this down and then if I even know how. Oh, it's all electric. Yeah, it's a pretty safe neighborhood, so I'm not even like that worried. Um, I just gotta roll my windows down a little bit. And if I figure out how to lay this down, I don't even think I can sleep tonight then. Dan, <laughs> hold up. I'm gonna I'm get back to you guys. Okay, I found it. So, this is my bed, this is my hotel, it's a um, one star hotel, but hey, I got, I got, 
I got AC, I got some air, so I'm just gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be, um, lowering my AC down, I mean, putting my windows down a little bit, and just going to bed, and then I'll wake up tomorrow morning, and I'll actually have a place to stay tomorrow, but, yeah, Th this is the look, even though you can't see anything, just a stay, so I'll just show you guys, not bad room, right? <laughs> I'm actually really exhausted. I gotta be up tomorrow morning and I gotta like go to the dealership and do a lot of fun things But I gotta get a lot of sleep and I don't know how I'm gonna brush my teeth tomorrow I might go to McDonald's or something. I don't even know. Yeah Like that's what happens when you rent two Mustangs and you can't afford a hotel you guys <laughs> It's okay. It's all okay. I chose to live this life to sleep um, in a Mustang hotel and someone commented on my TikTok, remember, you can't go 0 to 60 in a hotel. You can't go 0 to 60 in a hotel, but you can do it in a car. So I guess that's the motto I'm going to live by. Well, good morning. <sighs> oh my god. I just finished doing my makeup. I mean, this mirror comes in handy, of course. But I'm, like, so energetic. I'm, like, ready to get my day started. And, like, honestly, like, it's not that bad. Like, no complaints. Like, totally sleeping in my car for a day. You know, there's some people that actually have to sleep in their car for, like way longer like strad man like props to him for like having to you know I felt safe i was in a safe neighborhood like i was it wasn't a big deal it got a little cold at night so i was like wearing this but i gotta go find a place to change them out of my clothes and wear new ones this car doesn't have tents but yeah i don't know this idea sounded way cooler in my head uh, <laughs> well, i also gotta find a place to brush my teeth because i didn't brush my teeth but i didn't even wash my face i just put makeup on it kind of gross i know <laughs>